What was once a concept a few years back was scoffed at. The four-day work week has now grown to be a widely embraced practice and the research is backing it up. It's said to increase productivity and mental health, although not everyone is on board. Career expert Sue Elson joins us to discuss. Sue, um, how does the four-day work week benefit employees? Well, as you say, stress, burnout and fatigue definitely go down. Mental health and well-being go up. There was an Australasian study completed last year that took six months from four-day week global. And what they found of the 26 companies that they surveyed, that 95% of them were keen to adopt it going forward. Now, if you think about back in the 1800s, people were working 14 hours a day, six days a week, and it's 75 years since we got the five-day work week. So, yep, here's for the the, the four-day work week coming up. All right, so the results are speaking for themselves. How do employers benefit too? Well, interestingly, they're going to find that there'll be a decrease in absenteeism, um, a 36% increase in revenue. They're going to find that the um, actual at home, when people go home from work, they're helping out around the house more. But even when they come to work, there's likely to be a lot less absenteeism. And you're really going to um, engage more and, and spread the load around more. And that, that should be really positive going forward. Well, the stats are all pretty good, but there are some employers who aren't embracing that. So there must mm. be some drawbacks. What are they? Well, I, I guess smaller businesses are going to find it much harder than larger employers. Self-employed people could also find it difficult. Scheduling, if, if an operation is open five days a week, how do you manage that? Now, obviously people take holidays and are sick now, but are we going to be able to manage that going forward? That's going to be a little bit trickier. And just overall, it's, it's an adjustment. It's going to take time to get our heads around it and understand that this is the new way forward. But if you love your job, and you would still want to stay there, but you think this is right for you. How do you approach your employer? Well, essentially, you're going to have to provide some sort of evidence to let them know that this is working. They're going to need some time to think about it. You're going to have to systemise it and trial it and make sure that you get other people on board in the office. It's not something you're going to be able to implement overnight. So it is something you need to plan. That four-day week global website has some resources about the transition and the implementation of it. So there's, there's resources around that could definitely help as well. And what if they say no? What, what's next? <laughs> Yes. Look, under the Fair Work Act, if you've been employed for 12 months with your current employer, you do have the right to ask for flexible work arrangements. Now, obviously, four-day work week, and especially if everybody decided to take it, that's going to be a huge adjustment. So you need to understand what the needs of the employer are, and if there's not a fit and you can't discuss it, then obviously, as I've said many times before, improve your job search skills and go out and see if you can find someone who does, because we are moving from a society that is going from hours to output and this is, is part of that trend. Alright, so great information there. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks Sue. See you Thank soon. You. When we return, we'll